The Country with Jamie Mackay. Proudly brought to you by Norwood, the beating heart of rural New Zealand. We've been talking about this one for quite a bit of the week, the Wool Summit that happened in Wellington on Monday. We spoke to Sir David Fagan about it. We spoke to Federated Farmers Meat and Wool Chair Miles Anderson. Let's catch up with our wool correspondent. His name is Grant Edwards. He's the GM of Wool for PGG Rights. And, and Grant, did anything meaningful come out of that Wool Summit? Uh, thanks, Jamie. I do think it did. Um, there's certainly an, an appetite across the wool industry um, to make change. Um, it's a work in progress what that change might look like. But, uh, you yeah, know, there was certainly uh, a lot of collaboration there and a, and a real appetite to take some, some action, Jamie. Are you flogging a dead horse, though, Grant? And I'm talking about strong wool here because this time about a year ago, we were at effectively an all-time low. And to its credit, wool crept up something like about maybe 15% over the season. But we've had two sales in the new wool selling season and they've dropped. They've dropped big time. We've, we've lost effectively half of our gains from a whole year. If shearers grant are going to be paid 25% more to chop the stuff to harvest it, we'll be losing money. Uh, there's certainly a real challenge there, Jamie. Um, I think there's a huge opportunity at the moment um, and we t- to tell our story um, directly through to the consumers. Um, we're seeing a, all the time we see in the media these days uh, talks about plastics, synthetics. We hear about uh, non-plastic bags, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, the, the same principles that are applying to the plastic bags are, are applying to our synthetics. There's a huge opportunity there, I believe, to to tell that story stronger into, into the commu- uh, into the consumers. We're doing that individually, largely as... Um, as industry participants, if you like, we've got a, a integrity wall page, we've got Facebook, where you can talk to the consumers a lot easier, easily now through the digital world, and we need to be able to get that news out there. I think there's a real change within the world around these sorts of issues, and um, it creates a huge opportunity. It won't happen overnight, and you know, certainly respect that, but there is that opportunity now, and we need to look at a, a coordinated, collaborative approach within the New Zealand wool industry of, of how we might achieve that. Do we need a wool growers levy? Do we need to go back to that, have an industry good organisation doing the marketing? Because everyone's uh, doing their own thing at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if that, that'll be the outcome or that's how uh, what what will happen in, in that space, Jamie. Um, and, and that'll be where that, uh, that summit, you know, takes it. Like, that, that was the first meeting Um, that that I'm aware of for quite some time across the industry. So it is a work in progress. Uh, Where it looks from a a levy point of view or what may be the outcome of that, you know, we've got to look at that and and what is the best way to tell the story and what is the best way to get it out there. Let's have a look at the current market. Uh, The first two sales of the season, as we said, have dropped off significantly. Passings yesterday in excess of 40%. So farmers are sitting on their thumbs and sitting on their wool when it comes to selling it. Definitely. We we had a lot of grower reserves yesterday um, in the last two weeks. Um, we, we have seen, you know, and we've got to be realistic here, we have seen a drop of around that 10% or, or 30 cents a kilo. Uh, you know, good, and we're talking crossbred here, of course, good crossbred wools uh, yesterday were worth around, in a greasy sense, around that $2.70, down from the two ninety five three dollars $3. Um, a, a lot of growers appear or do have uh, that $3 seems to be uh, the magic figure, and I think... Uh, one thing that we need to do as an industry is to consider, you know, a 10 cent shift. What does that mean in dollar terms? What does that mean in cash flow for the growers? Um, and, and of course, it's being propped up by lamb. So um, th- there is some further consideration there. It certainly was a disappointing market yesterday and has been for the last couple of weeks. Uh, once again, uh, China's gone quiet in the marketplace. Um, they were just working through a few issues there, as I understand it. In the same token, uh, wool within the pipeline, you, you can't all of a sudden turn it off and, and uh, it doesn't happen. You know, wool needs to flow through. It needs to flow right through to the end consumer. So longer term, I, I think the, the outlook's very positive and we've just got to work through these issues that we've seen for, uh, for a number of years. Good on you, Grant Edwards. Thanks for your time on the country. Thanks, Jamie, and thanks for your listeners.